Good evening and welcome to Collect Your Cars. I'm Lance, your host. With me in the studio, I got to introduce this guy properly because, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this guy gives me more material to use at my shows than anybody else. Mr. Bill Manier from the Arcadia Airport. How you doing, man? Just fine, just fine. Mr. His daughter, Katie, Katie Manier. And we have Katie here to tell us all the things that Bill can't remember anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm just telling it like it is. And our cruising reporter, Mr. Bill Mergens. Good evening, Lance. And who incidentally, uh, oh, what? Well, I was just going to say, it appears that we've all been dressed by Becky tonight. Absolutely. Huh? Yeah, see that? Uh -huh. How about that? Yeah. I'll tell you, this is good stuff. Incidentally, Bill Mergens has now had his photos published in Hemmings that is Motor true. News. Isn't that nice? Isn't that cool? That is so cool. To see yeah. a local photographer getting getting national publicity with this that goes all over but i noticed mm -hmm. bill was your car in that uh, those photos neither was mine uh, yeah i need I to talk just, to him about I, I that i just I thought i'd mention that yeah, yeah. yeah. was your anyway. car there what? <laughs> he, there. See, he didn't yeah. notice if my car yeah. was there boy he bailed that, out of that yeah that yeah he did he bailed out of that one good too uh, anyway, you and I have been uh, cruising together, doing shows together now for a long time. Almost 10 And years. we have razzed each other pretty good. But I razz you, Bill, because I have the utmost respect for you, and I think you are just an inspiration, man. Okay. You're 70 what? Three? Two? 73. 73. You are still racing cars. Yeah. You're still flying planes. We won't talk about you mowing grass. That's, that's not a... <laughs> No, you just leave that. Yeah, we'll, we'll 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 leave that one alone. But uh, it's just amazing that you know that you are able. To, most people just want to be alive and breathing at 73. <laughs> you know, doing the things you do. It's it's you know still going down the track with his hair on fire. You know, spanking the 22 year olds. I mean, I, I love it. Every time he calls me after a weekend of racing and says, "Well, I took a fourth and I took a second. I took a a, a third and a fifth against all these young guys out there with all this, you know, super equipment, yeah, I think you're doing incredible. It gets pretty rough sometimes, even yeah. for an old man. <laughs> but you love it. You love it. You get behind that wheel and you just love it. And I can tell. I do that. But I wanted to let people know, we decided this year to combine, since that is one of your true loves, the, the, the car hobby is a love of yours, the planes, uh, and the racing. So we decided, and it was actually my wife's idea, and said, well, why don't we bring in the race cars and stuff and bring in the race drivers and add another facet to the Rods and a Wings show. So now, I have to be careful with this because I've been tutored. It's the Rods, Wings, and Racing Show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they had bets on yeah, whether I was going to blow that or not. Yeah. <laughs> because we had the Wings and Racing going on for a long time. <laughs> but I'll tell you. Uh, we're going to have uh, Tommy. Now, what is Tommy's last name? Graham. Tommy Graham. Tommy Graham. And who's the, we've got your car is going to be out there that you run. Uh, and these are the guys from Arnold V8 Stock Car Racing Series. That's right. Okay. Now, this, this is, you're up in the 200 mile an hour cars now. This is? My top speed at, uh, I've had it over 183. 183. So, I mean, the, uh, you're, you're up in that category just right below, pretty much below NASCAR. Yeah, not far from it. Right. And you have to be licensed the same as those guys do or trained yes. or, you know, yes. certified. Right. So, I guess with my golf cart footage, I <laughs> that would kind of leave me out. Yeah, that kind of. Oh, and I ain't driving no golf carts at Rods and Wings. Well, that's Even if you offer me one. We parked you close enough to the building to where you don't need no <laughs> to transportation. Where I don't need one. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got that handled <laughs> we got that from, hand. from, from experience. <laughs> and you now have a new handy-dandy airport sign. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not up. the old busted up one that I crashed into. No, uh, it's still around, isn't it? Yeah, that's still there, it's only we got a new... Um, he's, it's called evidence, Katie. He's keeping it for evidence. <laughs> that's the evidence file. <laughs> But it, where it used to be this far in the ground, it's only about that far in the ground. If you, yeah, well, I kind of, 
touch it real it'll fall over yeah I, yeah you probably got it set up for me in fact we'll probably lay it over in uh, in memories in memory in memory of, of Lance right. with the golf right. cart yeah mm -hmm. anyway uh, rods and wings last year we tried something new and and it was my fault we tried to do it on a Saturday we've always done it on a Sunday it has always worked very well on a Sunday we get a lot of we were getting a lot of spectators and so forth Saturday while well, we had a kind of a threat of rain uh, as a matter of fact, that whole weekend was, was a tough weekend. Yeah, it was a very right. tough weekend. The downshifters who are going to be on next week, uh, they had a very tough time with the rain with their show that, that I did for them up there. But we went back to the Sunday, and we chose this Sunday because it was the, a time when we could get the race guys there. Also, guess who's coming out? Greg Kilma. Crazy Greg. Mm -hmm. He's actually crazier than Bill. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, Greg's coming out with KGKI Radio. He does the internet uh, racing broadcasting all the time. He broadcasts from Daytona and, I mean, just all over the place. And um, so he's coming out, going to be with us. and going to do a live broadcast. And hopefully we're going to have a lot of cars, a lot of good food, and, and, ho and a lot of fun. Well, some of these fellas, uh, like Tommy Graham and Tony and Lee Arnold, mm -hmm. uh, these guys are super race car drivers. Yeah. And uh, uh, I, I'm just fortunate to be able to share the same track with these guys. With these guys. And there's another gentleman who's actually the same age as you or a year older than you. Uh, 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 James Hilton, but he's, he races NASCAR. He does race NASCAR. He races NASCAR. And when we went to Jer uh, New Jersey for the ARCA series, mm -hmm. Tommy went down the driver's list and he says, Bill, he says, didn't you used to race with James Hilton? I said, yeah, 40 years ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he said, well, he's racing here this weekend. Yep. Oh, cool. boy, we took off, Katie and I, and we yeah. found him down getting his car teched. That's and cool. it was just like yesterday. Yeah. And he said, I can't believe it. Well, they, I understand the crowd grabbed the two of you for autographs and pictures. And yeah. and right. He's 74, you're 73, you're both still racing. That, that's an inspiration right there. I mean, that's just beautiful stuff. Well, that really made me feel yeah. good. And I'm sorry, I, I had a big 8 by 10 picture. I wanted to show tonight. And I and you forgot it. I forgot See, that's why that's what happens when you See, get my She's age. just here to make sure you don't forget the other stuff that we have. Well, she didn't do me much good there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, he's got a point. Yeah. He, he's got a point. It would have helped if he had told you, though, right? That's right, if he had yeah. told you before yeah. that. But we're going to talk a little more about that after the clip, but what we want to show the people right now, they love seeing the cars, and we have got Mr. Bergen's shot, uh, and, and that's the, one of the reasons I'm wearing my Mopar shirt. All right. Because we've got Take It Away Bill. Okay, this is at Bob Boast uh, Dodge in Bradenton. One of our was, sponsors. Yeah, it was the Minnesota Mopar Club, and it was an all-Mopar show. So, uh, eh, you know, let's start it out with a 71 Hemi Cuda convertible? Yeah. How about that, huh? Yeah. Uh, that was Terry Moyer. And uh, this one is a 75 Dodge Dart Hang 10. Vince D owns this one. And, and this is kind of an unusual car. You know, it was a special option, and, and you just don't see many of them. Now, here's something really unusual. Yeah. And do, you, do you recognize that one? Oh, yeah. Bob Super and Dottie. Bird. Muff, yeah, yeah. Saddlebird. Oh, they call, that's right. They call that's it the, the six, Saddlebird. That's the 66. And then they, they changed it into a Superbird. Into a Superbird. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, oh, I know that Chris, one. Chris Dudley, 62 Dodge Dart, 440. Max, Wedge, still Max the Wedge. Wedge. Oh, yeah. Convertible. Excellent car. Auto Dur, 73 AMC Javelin. This, of course, is a little bit bigger version of what the AMX was mm -hmm. by that time. It was a four seater. And Jim Freed, Jr. We're going to talk about senior uh. after the break. Yeah. And this one is a 1970 Dodge Cornet RT 440. Uh, Excellent car. Uh, Excellent super car. Super nope. Huh? And this one is Jody uh, Geiger. It's 1968 GTX 440. 